Hello friends and family and welcome to our boring meditation stuff. Uh, I am going to share this video with a couple of new folks so if you are watching this as your first video um, there's a small caveat that I need to give which is that I am not a meditation teacher and this is not meditation instruction. Um, these videos are just meant to be a sort of bi-directional communication, a back and forth conversation about meditation and things around meditation, particularly anapan uh, and sometimes vipassana. Um, today I wanted to talk about energy, um, uh, not in any sort of metaphysical sense, but just <laughs> the sort of energy we have um, when we wake up after we have our coffee or our tea and um, how we feel throughout the day. And I was actually thinking this morning, um, I was quite tired. I spent the weekend um, working uh, on a volunteer project. There was a hackathon uh, with some university students here in India, uh, all over India um, from all sorts of different locations. And we were online for most of the weekend and staying up fairly late. And as a result, I woke up this morning. This is Monday, by the way. This isn't, I, I record these in advance. Um, I woke up this morning pretty exhausted, uh, really feeling that feeling I'm sure we've all had after a long work week or a long work weekend, or if we exercise a lot or if we're sick when we wake up and we feel that kind of um, like our muscles are made of clay and nothing moves correctly and we don't really want to get up even if we know that we're done with sleep. And I found myself just doing anapana meditation, lying down with my eyes closed and then my eyes open and not really trying to do anything with it and actually hoping that I would go back to sleep even though I'd already slept in. And it ended up waking me up. And what I realized that what was that I wasn't as tired as I thought I was. I was kind of giving in to these feelings of heavy clay muscles and bones <laughs> and letting myself believe that I was more exhausted maybe than I actually was. And Anapana can have these two distinct benefits I've found. Um, one is that when you wake up in the morning, you can do just a few minutes of anapana lying there um, before you get out of bed, before you commit to the rest of the day or even your breakfast, um, just to follow the breath a little bit. And your thoughts, your mind, you, you get them off of whatever you're feeling when you wake up. And sometimes you wake up feeling great, but often we wake up and we have this like, ugh, no, getting up feeling. And if we start with anapana instead, we're taking the opportunity to pull ourselves away from whatever early morning negativities we might have. Um, these grisly feelings <laughs> that we have between bed and the first cup of, of chai or coffee. Um, and Similarly, if you can manage, and I can't always manage, but I sometimes try to do anapana <clears throat> while lying in bed, while going to sleep, you'll actually find that, um, or you may find, I certainly find, that the quality of the sleep can really improve and that eight hours of sleep is not eight hours of sleep. It, eight hours of sleep is not always the same. Um, sometimes you can get a really good sleep, but you can, have, you can have a depressed sleep, you can have an anxious sleep, you can have a sleep that's disturbed by illness or an injury. And that kind of sleep is not nearly as restful as a, a healthy, um, calm sleep where you're both physically and mentally relaxed. And anapan can really help with that. Um, even once you're asleep, 
So if there's some part of your brain that continues to follow the breath a bit instead of getting really sucked into the day's monotony, right? The the minutia of our lives. And, oh, I have to I have to renew my visa, and I have to call this person, and I need to schedule this meeting. Um, I need to clean out the garbage. I need to do this. I need to do that. Um, Anupan takes us away from all of that. And if we can do that right before sleep, then our sleep isn't just as disturbed by those things as well. So that was my observation from this morning um, about the kind of energy that I was feeling as I was getting up and the kind of energy that I had throughout the day um, and my perception of it. Uh, since there may be new people watching this, I will put up the instruction, the links to the instructional videos again. Um, so you're welcome to follow those if you like to uh, install the Anapana instructions on your phone. And if you do that, uh, I would strongly recommend setting aside um, a half an hour to 45 minutes with your phone in airplane mode and um, everyone else in your household aware that you're going to be um, in silence for that half hour um, so that you can really pay attention to the introduction and the instructions. Um, you can always listen to them again, but it's helpful to hear them clearly the first time. Um, I hope everyone is taking care of themselves. I hope that you are about to have a good Tuesday or that you've had a good Tuesday and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Goodbye.